Now, this is how we're going to make a graph on Excel using the iPad. Let's get into it. So naturally, at first, make sure you have the software ready, like we're going to be using Microsoft Excel. And once you do, essentially go to any kind of a project that you are working with and you need to figure out the data which is going to go into that graph and the way that you do it is that you at first select one cell and then you can drag the corners to select the rest of the things which you want to go into it so let's say it's going to be like a you know a number in one column and it's going to be like a description in the other so you can do it like this once you have it selected then in the top bar, you have like a different option. So you need to go to the insert button, like click on that section. And from here, you can click on the chart. This is going to give you multiple different options on the graphs and like charts to go with this, right? So you can actually turn into a bar uh, chart or an area, pie, line, column, whatever it might be. One option to perhaps explore would be the recommended, which is right there at the top. So it gives you like a different thing to explore, of course. But yeah, you can click on whatever you want. And now you have a floating image or like a picture on top of it containing all of the data. So you can go ahead and resize it. It is like a dynamic. So if you resize, resize it in a different way, it might only make the chart show up larger or the text will be put to one side or the other so you can move it around and place it anywhere you basically want so this is the uh, the the stuff that you probably had in mind of course you can customize it and tweak it right so there are some different things which you can do about it obviously you can hold down on it and just arrange it in terms of like your general project and stuff like that so it goes v way deeper than that but this is the the basic or the easiest method on how you can make a graph in excel on the ipad so let me know below in the comments what you think most definitely subscribe below for more tutorials and videos like this one and i'll see you later <laughs>